identify all the rays shown in the image below. And just as a reminder what a ray is, a ray starts at some point and then goes on forever in some direction. In order to find a ray, you need that point that you're starting off on. So let's say that point right over there is called x. And then you need another point that sits on the ray, but the ray is just going to go keep going past it. So let's say that that is y over here. Then we would label this ray, we would call it ray x, not xx, we would, ray, we would label it xy. And this, it says it starts at x, so it's starting at x, and it keeps on going forever in the direction of y. It goes towards y, and then passes y, and then just keeps on going. And you need the second point, and you need the second point essentially to specify the direction. We're going, starting at x in the direction of y, going, meeting y, and then going beyond y. So with that out of the way, let's identify all the rays shown in the image below. So we can start. Well, we can start really anywhere over here. Well, let's start over here at point J. Point J, we have no ray. The only ray that we have, or any the only line that's really we have, or line segment from J is going straight up towards H, and then it goes towards H, and then it keeps on going. So this right over here looks like a ray, and it would be ray J H, ray J H. We st we're starting at J, going through H, and then we just keep on going forever. Now, if you go to point H, there is no ray HJ because J, the line ends at J. It doesn't keep on going forever. So there is no ray HJ. And there is no ray H because just with one point, you're not specifying a ray. You're not specifying the direction. You might be tempted to say that this is a ray, but there's no point over here to help specify the direction. So just using this one point, you can't say that this ray is starting right over there. So looking at this part of our diagram right over here, the only ray, the only ray is JH. Now let's look at the other points. So that is JH. If we look at point C, once again, you might want to create a ray that goes here to the right, but there's no other point to specify the direction. So we're going to have to go in the other direction. So you could have a ray called CE, starts at C, goes through E, and keeps on going forever. So that would be ray CE. And you might say, well, and you could also have a ray that starts at C, goes in the direction of F, and goes on forever. But these are actually the same ray. These are actually the same ray because F sits on ray CE and E sits on ray CF. Remember, the second point is really just helping you specify the direction that you're going to keep on going in forever. So these two are the same ray. CE is this ray that starts at C and keeps on going to the left forever. CF is the ray that starts at C and keeps on going to the left forever. So these two are the same ray. So they'll only count as one ray. Now let's go. Let's think about what we can do from point E. Well, we can start at point E and keep on and going the direction of C, go through C and keep going. So that's a ray. You have ray E, C. You could start at point E and go in the direction of A and keep going. So that's another ray, ray E, A. And you can start at point E and go in the direction of F and keep going. So that is ray. That is ray EF. And just to be clear, EF is different than CF because they're starting at two different places. They go in the same direction, they both go through F, but one is starting here and one is starting right over there. So that's why those are different rays. Now let's go to, I'll pick, do it in orange. Let's think about what we can do from point F. Point F, you might be tempted to go to the left, but there's no other point here. They haven't given us any other point to specify this direction. So let's think about the, to the right. We could have ray FE, start at F, go through E, and keep on going. So you could have ray FE. And then you might say, well, there's also ray FC, start at F, go, through, go in the direction of C, go through C, and keep on going. But that's the same thing as FE, as FE. Point C is on ray FE. This is ray FE right over here. And E is on, point, on ray FC. So these are actually the same ray. And then finally, we haven't looked, we haven't focused on A, point A just yet. But you, if we go, you might say, hey, maybe there's ray AE, but we see the line actually doesn't keep on going on and on forever. 
So that's not array. And you can't go keep on going to the top right because there's no other point here to specify the direction. And so that's about all we can do about finding the rays given the points that have been specified. If they specified some more points, for example, if they gave us a point right over there, we would have been able to define other rays. We could have had this, you know, if this was point G, you could have ray GH, you could have had a ray GE, you could have had ray GF, but they didn't give us that point. And if you had other points over here and here and here, you could have had those rays that started F to the left, H and H going upwards, A going to the top right, but they didn't specify it. So I'm guessing that the way the question was written, they say, identify all the rays that have that that involve the, the blue points that were given in the problem. And if we think about those, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, using those original blue points that they gave us in the problem, and only those original blue points.